So, yep, there's the wounded Veloster N, unfortunately. Have to stay another night in Tennessee instead of going to the Tail of the Dragon because on the way, I blew a tire. Small little hole, got distracted for a second with the passenger in my car and looked to her split second and happened to hit the biggest hole on the mountain probably. Best thing is, is the only place that can get me a tire is this Walmart right over here. And they can't get it till tomorrow. And of course it's not gonna be a Michelin or, or, or a Pirelli P0. It'll be a Continental Contact, $200. But the funniest thing is Walmart can't even mount the tire for me. And this is one of the problems with the Veloster N. Now I know some people that live in a slightly more populated region may not have this problem. They could probably go and find a tire anywhere. But here, I can't even find a Hyundai dealer. To tell you the truth. I mean, I can, but the closest one is like two hours away. And that's just what you got to deal with. Hence, me trying to get to the point of this video is one of the first things I wanted to do to the Veloster is get a new set of wheels and tires. 18 inch because of the inconvenience of having a 19 inch wheel and 19 inch tires. It's just a pain in the ass, honestly. But I don't have that many miles on the vehicle and I haven't really done much yet. It's brand new to me, so I haven't gotten around to buying 18 inch tires yet. But all you that are interested in maybe buying a Veloster N or something like a Civic Type R, keep in mind that having 19 inch wheels and tires can be a pain. Especially if you take a trip and you don't happen to have a spare 19 inch Pirelli P0 or you know Continental Contact 6 imagine if you were in a Type R and you had a 20 inch you'd be in a real pickle then wouldn't you out here anyway that's the end of this video I just wanted to show some of the sights and talk a little bit about my woes take care everybody